Welcome everyone to Half Fast Gaming. This is Jeff here with you. I'm going to cover something today uh, that has bothered me since American Truck Simulator came out. And people importing the trucks into American Truck Simulator aren't taking into account the fact that you're going to have other trucks that you want to put in the game. And as it stands, if you're not writing new files for each truck, it will overwrite every other truck that you put in. It's hard to explain, but it's the first time you do experience it, you'll know. Either the dealership will disappear, or um, the truck that you were trying to use in the game is not there anymore, being overwritten by the new truck. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk you through what needs to change in the truck dealer folder. Okay, so right here you can see Freightliner underscore Coronado.scs. I'm in the def vehicle folder. Okay, I'm using 7-zip. Uh, this is a direct drop-in right from ETS. I did not do anything to this yet aside from change the truck dealer information. It's even got the truck dealer UK and company UK. Um, you will have to change the desktop as well. This is only if you're deliver if you're going to the dealership. This is where you'll see this truck. Okay, you're gonna have to change the other files in the desktop and in the company as well. Um, again. This is straight up in the dealer. You have to travel to the dealer in this particular case. Okay, so truck dealer folder. Now, the trick here is these files need to have Kenworth or Peterbilt in them somewhere in order for the game to understand that that's where you want them to go. Obviously, the Coronado is not a f Kenworth. It's a Freightliner. However, they, as you can see here, Kenworth underscore zero Coronado dot SII, okay? And so on, Kenworth dot Coronado dot SII. So if I go in here, you're going to see the standard file, and I'll, you know what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the actual file looks like normally. So if we look at, say, the Kenworth T680, okay? So you're going to see dealer sortiment brand Kenworth showcase vehicles 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then include Kenworth, Kenworth underscore 0 dot T680 dot SII, include, include, include. Okay, so that's the stock, that's how the stock SII file looks. So what people were doing originally is they're taking one of these out or telling the include right here to point to another truck in the Kenworth folder, which you can totally do. Um, but the problem with that is once you do that, the, say we point to showcase four, okay? We point to showcase four and say um, another modder comes along and points to showcase four. Well, now those two trucks are interfering with each other. And unless you know how to edit these files all the time, you know, which not everybody can know. Some people just want the truck in their game and they don't understand. They don't understand why it's not working. They don't understand that they have another truck that's in the same slot. They don't want to know that. They just want to know how it works. I mean, or how it should work, rather. So, here you go. Here's the T680. Now, here is the Coronado. I mean, realistically, we only need one slot. There are multiple slots in the game to show you what the truck can do. You know, it can have the high roof, the mid roof, and the day cab. Okay, but the Coronado only has one um, variant. Okay, so it only has the high roof. So we don't care about anything else. What we're going to do here is you're going to see showcase vehicle zero, tdealer.kenworth underscore zero dot Coronado. And then include Kenworth slash Kenworth underscore zero dot Coronado dot SII. Now, you'll say, well, Jeff, 
it says showcase vehicles zero right here. But it's a whole different file name now. It is Kenworth underscore zero dot coronado dot not dot t680. Okay, so this is where it becomes very important to create these files because otherwise you won't get multiple trucks in your game if you use the same slots. There are unlimited slots as far as I can tell. However, um, you need to make one of these files per truck mod. Okay, so we've changed this one. So here it is, right? As you can see, still truck company UK. I haven't even changed this. It still says, uh, well, this is all the company truck. That doesn't matter. Um, dealer UK. You can still see it's in it's Mercedes, right? It's still in there. I haven't changed. I haven't done anything, but change the standard truck dealer to Kenworth, and create this SII file. Now, I did the same thing with the T800. This is version 2.1. Okay, so truck dealer UK. It's in DAF right now. I did not change anything. We're going to truck dealer. Here it is, Kenworth, Kenworth.t800. Now, showcase vehicles zero, okay? So slot zero, Kenworth underscore zero dot t800, and it's pointing to this file in the Kenworth folder. There it is there, okay? Kenworth zero t800. All right. Now the this particular T800 is not standalone because it's relying on some Iveco stuff apparently. Um at any rate, it still does work in the game. It just gives you the, you know, red errors with the um textures not being there. Um Now, you can see up here it is in my mod folder, so it is in the game. I'm not just pretending I know what I ta I'm talking about because right now I'm going to show you that it is there. Okay, so stand by here a second. So, instead of only having five slots in game, zero through five, uh, excuse me, zero through four, I now have seven total. So there's your T800, there's your Coronado, there's the duty cabin, roof, mid, and the high rise. And now you have seven slots, okay? So all you have to do is create the SII file per truck. that you're installing so that your customers, if you will, um, can play with that particular truck, never have to bother with it overwriting another um, slot in the dealership. Super easy. Um, I really hoped that I wasn't the first one to figure it out. However, it looks as if I am. I haven't found another truck on ATS mods that has done it this way. But as far as I can tell, this is the way that it needs to be done. So going forward, if you are a modder, please check out this video. Share it with all your other modding friends. We need to start doing this to make sure that uh, these trucks do not overwrite each other everywhere. Okay? Um, so guys... I hope this helps, and uh, please share it. Let me know if uh, I can be of any more assistance in your ATS experience. I am going to be putting out some uh, more mods myself and look for AMT to be releasing a few little prize possessions here in a short while. So, guys, like and subscribe. And uh, it, really, it really helps me out. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for the support. 
We will check in next time on Half-Assed Gaming.